Hey guys, Jamie Bond, Fish Blue Water, thanks for joining us. So, we're connecting two videos together for you today. We got out some time ago with Elliot London from Bait Strips. Phenomenal product, phenomenal young man. Check him out online, baitstrips.com. But anyhow, I was beyond impressed with this product. We caught blackfin tuna, we caught skipjack tuna, we caught dolphin, we caught sailfish. But what we took to the fillet table was the blackfin tuna and the skipjack tuna. Elliot tells me skipjack will surprise you how good it is to eat. So watch the preparation here at the fillet table and then uh, we're gonna talk to you about a great poke bowl recipe afterwards. We just finished up our fishing trip on the Encore. Had an amazing day, caught a bunch of fish, and I'm gonna show you guys the difference between a skipjack tuna here and a little blackfin tuna. So on these skippies right here, they have a really tough like, kind of skin right here. It's almost like rubber, super tough. And it's a little different from the black and The black ones don't have as tough of a skin right there. But these skipjacks, when they first come out of the water, super purple, super lit up with the stripes. Very, very mostly a Gulf Stream fish, but got lucky enough today to find a few on the reef. This is the small little black continue we caught today. Very similar shape and everything to the skipjacks. And caught them basically the same way too. Right down, they have a lot. This is not as tough right here compared to a skipjack. That bubble blade just cuts right through it like butter. The difference between these two fillets, as you can see, skipjack is much, much redder, which you would typically want from a tuna. As this, this blackfin's almost, almost white kind of. A lot of people throw back the skipjack, but it makes really, really good poke bowls, similar to paste and yellowfin, the elephant tuna. Now we'll take the skin off. All these guys. This is blackfin right here, and this is skipjack. Skipjack, much redder. In my opinion, tastes more like yellowfin. Blackfin's almost kind of white meat right now. But most people prefer the blackfin, but Jamie's gonna try the uh, skipjack out today. Let me know how he likes it. So now you guys know, next time you guys catch skipjack tunas, don't throw them back. Bleed them out properly, and you'll have an amazing sushi dinner.
I gotta say, Elliot delivered. That skipjack tuna was absolutely phenomenal. Normally when I think about tuna pokey, right, you think about yellowfin tuna. Well, he bled this thing properly, as you'll see in one of our previous videos, if you go back and take a look at it. And then we brought that tuna into the kitchen, we diced it up into small cubes, a bunch of delicious ingredients, which we'll put in the description for you, everything from sesame oil to sesame seeds, sriracha sauce, fresh cilantro, green onion. I mean, this tuna poke bowl was delicious over some sticky white rice. Fantastic. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you want to see next.